So, the video you guys have all been waiting for, well, kind of the video you guys have been waiting for, um, The Advocate. So this is my custom series VP9, a uh, collaboration I did with Tier Defense. And um, yeah, I've shot the hell out of this gun. So technically this isn't really a first mag, but I figured uh, before I released the full length video about The Advocate, I'd go ahead and just run it as a first mag. So just kind of give you my impressions of the gun from a more raw, unedited kind of feel. Um, so let's just start shooting. Yeah. So, first things first with the grip. I, I the VP nines are known to have a great grip, and ooh, we got a target here. The VP nines are known to have a great grip inherently, and um, will not die. As I keep trying to say, but I just keep seeing targets and I get excited and I just want to shoot. The VP9s are known for having a great grip. So what I wanted to do was maintain that same great gripness, <laughs> but uh, change it aesthetically and soften it up a little bit and give it a little bit more character. So that's what we did with the uh, MLS grip texturing here, which I like to say looks like leather under a microscope or what would leather would look like underneath a microscope. Compared to the VP9, this gun shoots, it's a little bit snappier, and it's a little bit snappier, largely due in part to the weight reduction that comes as a consequence of these window cutouts. Now, when you add the RMR on there, it's a little bit less snappy, ever so slightly, but I prefer it over the stock, largely because I, I can feel the slide tracking a lot faster, and I get back on target a lot faster, at least from my perception. Of course, this is an incredibly biased video because it's my gun. Oh, what the hell? One of the things about the VP9s or just HKs in general for me is the guns never really lock back because I ride the slide lock. So, whatever. Ooh. All right. I'm sorry, but. This gun is so fun to shoot. <laughs> All right, I didn't do much talking because there's not really much to say. It kind of speaks for itself. But um, the <laughs> I'm really proud of this gun, man. I gotta be honest with you. I'm trying not to give too much away from the actual video, which technically is almost done. So it's kind of hard for me to do a first mag and make it seem like a first mag because it's really not because I've shot the shit out of this gun. But the purpose of me, by and large, for this gun is supposed to be a do-all gun. If you want to carry the gun, the grip texture is soft enough to do that. Um, if you want to run it as a duty size gun, you can do that. Um, the way I have it set up is I have basically the 18 round mag with the extended mag, with the extended mag base. And um, I don't even really like shooting guns with RMRs on them. But for whatever reason, call it personal bias, whatever. On, my, on the Advocate, I love it. Um, man, I don't want to give too much away. It's just hard. And I ran out of ammo, so now I'm forced to talk to you bastards. The gun sits really well in hand, by and large. And I'm, I, I want to take credit for that, but it really honestly is due just to the inherent ergonomics of the VP9, which is why I wanted to start with it as a platform, because I love the ergonomics. The trigger as well is also, for me, phenomenal. Um, I love the trigger we, we decided to go with 
on the on the on the advocate it's it's a lobo trigger um it's aluminum and you notice the difference it's a a metal trigger versus a plastic trigger sure is it going to make you a better shooter so to speak no not really but does it improve the shooting experience to me it does um and also i just love how clean it is and how defined the wall is on this gun compared to the stock trigger and then even the brake is a lot cleaner as well and not only that for those who shoot reset there's your reset kind of speaks for itself and then let's just be honest Got a sexy as hell. Look at this. Look at it. Look, look at the lines. Look, it's just dripping in sauce. This is so, so, so pretty. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a tactical Lamborghini. A unicorn. It's just sexy. Look at this. Come on, you're not gonna lie and say it's a gun isn't sexy. Did you really think I was gonna do an unsexy gun? Like, come on, come on, come on, come on. But no, in all honesty, uh, I'm incredibly proud of this gun. Uh, we, we put a lot of work and a lot of time into it. And I had a vision going into it and I feel like I was able to capture the vision going out. And when I do the full length video on it, uh, you'll definitely see what I mean. So there's a fake first mag for the advocate. I really wish I had more rounds because this gun's fun to shoot. And um, once I drop the video, you'll know. If you buy it, <laughs> you'll really know. All right. I was like, did you miss that shit? Nah. Why are you missing my good shit? Running, I was like, you're out of bullets. Real quick before you go, I want to talk about the guide I put together titled, If I Could Carry Only One Gun. In this guide, I talk about which gun that would be and the reasons why. So be sure to click the link in this video to download your free copy today. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'm Colin on Noir, and I'm out.